Hi everyone, welcome to Lucy Tutorials. In today's video, I will show you how to use CPU Info, the best free app to check your CPU usage to prevent disasters. Let's get started. What is a CPU and what does it do? The abbreviation CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It is the brain of a computer. Its primary function is handling all necessary calculations, processing, and decision-making, ensuring everything runs smoothly. Why is it important to check CPU usage? Monitoring CPU usage is crucial to prevent overheating, slowing down, freezing, and crashes. It can also help extend the battery life offering the user a better overall experience. Before installing CPU Info, let's look at the macOS built-in Activity Monitor first to check the CPU usage. Afterward, we can install CPU Info and compare the two to determine which you want to keep running in the background. To access the activity monitor, use the keyboard shortcut command plus space bar or click the spotlight search icon in the menu bar. Once the search bar appears, type in activity monitor and press enter. After opening activity monitor, you will see a window with different tabs. If the CPU tab is not already selected, click on it to view a complete list of processors on the left side of the window. Along with their corresponding CPU usage percentage on the right. The list will display the apps or processes using the most CPU resources at the top. If you notice any processes consistently using a high CPU percentage, it may suggest that they are causing performance problems. For instance, in this list, the Windows Server is consuming higher CPU resources than other processes or applications. But it's not too high to worry me, and more importantly, the Windows Server is a vital system process. If I force quit it, I can't use my Mac. According to this list, no applications are using too much CPU. However, let's assume your virus scanner uses a significant portion of the CPU, around 90% or 100% or even more and you believe this might be the cause of your Mac's overheating. To quit the app or process that is using a high CPU, follow these steps. Click on the app to select it. Then click the X button at the top left corner of the activity monitor. A confirmation dialog will appear. Click quit. If the app or the process won't quit, click the force quit button to terminate it. If you want to keep an eye on your CPU usage, right click on the activity monitor icon in the dock and choose monitors, then select show CPU usage. As you can see, my CPU usage is currently low. Let's now install CPU Info. To download it, open the App Store and type CPU Info in the search box without any spaces between. Click on Get and then click Install. You may need to sign in. Enter your password and click Sign In. Once the app is downloaded, click Store 
in the menu and click sign out lastly close the app store window to open the cpu info app click the spotlight icon and type its name and press enter the apps icon will then appear in the menu bar. To view the CPU usage percentage, click the apps icon, go to view mode, and select text. As for the update interval, I'll keep the default setting. To modify the menu bar icon, there are three options available. Default, black and white, and borderless. I have chosen default. If you wish to view the individual cores, click show cores individually. However, this option occupies too much space in the menu bar, so I will deselect it. From now on, you can quickly check the CPU usage on your Mac. If you notice a high percentage, click its icon and open Activity Monitor. You can then identify and quit any apps using excessive CPU power. If you open the Memory tab, you will notice that Activity Monitor uses approximately 66 megabytes of memory while running in the background, whereas CPU Info only uses around 14 megabytes of memory. Activity Monitor also utilizes about 6.1% of the CPU's power compared to CPU Info which only uses about 0.6%. This difference is significant, but it may vary on your Mac. I prefer CPU info running in the background rather than activity monitor. If I need to stop an app that causes high CPU usage, I will launch activity monitor from the CPU info menu to identify and terminate the problematic app. Then I will quit Activity Monitor until I need to relaunch it. At what point should you become concerned about the CPU usage percentage on your Mac? The short answer is, if you consistently notice a high CPU usage, about 70% during normal use, without running resource-intensive tasks, and there is no decrease in the percentage, it could be a sign of an issue that requires investigation to identify potential culprits and address any performance problems. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please consider subscribing by clicking on the LT Lucid Tutorials logo and sharing the video link with your friends. Your support will inspire me to create more videos for you. Thank you for watching.